Alright, what's good YouTube? Gentlemen, Tommy here back with another video on the channel and today we have our CDLA week 8, I believe it is, team builder before the match. Now, you're probably wondering why there wasn't a video last week and that is because the league decided to extend the current week that, we're, that I'm in right now uh, from last week. So this has been a two week period where we could have battled and my opponent and I have chosen to battle this week. So that's why there wasn't a video up last week. Now, uh, before we actually get into the build and whatnot, I also kind of want to quickly mention that um, we are pretty much out of playoff completely. I think if we win our last two matches, 6-0, both of them, we might get a, like a slight, 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 like a 0.1% chance. But that means everyone else also have to like falter and play horribly and whatnot. Like like everyone, not, not just like one or two people. We're talking like five or six people. And I haven't even looked at the matchups. I don't, I'm not even sure if it's doable. But yeah, essentially we are out of playoffs. So I did some transactions to kind of have fun with the team. I There was a couple of months that I didn't enjoy. But also there was some, a couple of months left on the board that I kind of just wanted to try out. They're fun months I've used like once or twice before. But not like a whole lot. So I kind of wanted to just try them again because they're funny. And uh, you should see a picture right now of what the new team is going to look like. So we dropped Faramosa, Jirachi, Rose Red, Milk Tank, Sneasel, and Gogos. So we dropped six months and picked up five months in Kieran Black, Hootra, uh, Hootra, Hooba, Unbound, Chestnut, Klefki, and Quillfish. Now, the main reason I did this is because I wanted to use, um, what's it called, Kieran and Hooba, just because it's like two insane breakers on each side. They're both pretty slow, which is like, would you pay for the insane breaking power? But overall, I think that can be a lot of fun. Also, this is a no restrictions curum, so we can run DD, um, scale shot, all that if we want to. And uh, I feel like Chestnut, Quillfish, and Klefki are just kind of like. They, first of all, they're all three spike staggers, which is insane, actually. Like, part of me wish I'd had one or two of these beforehand, just because I've come to love spikes a lot lately. But um, yeah, so this is just a way where we can play like spikes, hazard game, and just be aggressive with Curum, Hooba. Um, Diane seal as like offensive power and we have support in like cleft key and stuff like that so this is just it's just a fun bungus team like it's just here to go out and say woo and um, <laughs> we're gonna do that today against our opponent that is gonna be the Gainesville God of Wars coach by Psycho so I played against Psycho I think once or twice before I want to say like I, I know a couple of times I'm pretty sure I've lost most of the times uh, and I'm not expecting this to be much different because I'm going in with like a, just a let me have fun Let me just go in and go bam 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 strategy. So This is gonna be very interesting to see if we can like if we pull a win out today I'm <laughs> that, that's gonna be so fun now The team that Psycho has is gonna be Ash Greninja, which has which is a loud C move So that's kind of powerful Scissor, Charizard X, uh, Tabo Fini, Rapier in the cross mat, Tornadoes, Kangaskhan, Electivire, Volbeat and Balloon. now Honestly, the team isn't that, like, in, it's not that insanely threatening, right? The Ash Grenade is, of course, really annoying, but it is also just, like, it's just, you know, quotation, just a Greninja until it gets the Ash, for, uh, ash form off. Sizzler is a really good mon, Chaz is a really good mon, Tabfini is really good. Rapira is, like, 50-50. In our format, where I believe Hidden Power is allowed, I don't think it's that great because, like, Hidden Power Rash just takes it out, you know? But I still think it's a solid ground type in the cross map. I have like a pretty good love for myself. Um, I do like it. It's like a discount Mew, but it can do pretty much everything the Mew can do, except for a few couple of things. Like it can't really do Stall Breaker, I believe, because it does get taunt. It might get taunt. I can't remember. But yeah, uh, Tornadoes, like, ah, uh, Tornadoes and whatever, man. Um, Kangaskhan, I think, is a pretty good low tier uh, normal. Electiva is one of those electrics that I always think about trying, but then I'm like, eh, I don't know. It doesn't feel that good. And I don't know what Volbeat... I like, I know some people actually stand by Volbeat a lot. They like, love Volbeat. But I just don't understand what it is here. You already had the Prankster in, uh, Tena in Tenacious, so I don't really see the Volbeat that much. And uh, Broom is like an okay mon. I've never used it, I've never really thought about using it, but I've seen people do very well with it. But uh, as I mentioned, we're gonna go into this game with just a uh, Hongo Bongo. We are gonna hit hard. <laughs> so. Uh, I want you to say a lovely welcome to the first mon on our team this week, which is gonna be Hulk, the Cure on Black, with Weakness Policy, Terror Vault, Fusion Bolt, Fusion Bolt, Icicles, Beer Roost, and D-Dance. So, best case scenario, we are, we get one D-Dance up, get hit by like a, I don't know, a Moonblast type of Fini, and then we just go in. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, Sisla is a massive issue because of the Ball Punch, but my entire team almost now is kind of weak to Ball Punch. We have like one or two monsters that are pretty good against it. Um, but if we can get rid of Scissor, or Scissor is for some reason not there, 
you know, this can go in completely. Like, it can take most hits super effectively, I think, except for, like, a dragon... Actually, I haven't checked, but maybe it can live, like, a dragon claw from Charizard. Or a stone edge from, like, a Rhyperia. But this is just here to, you know, be fun. Like, Roost is just... Roost is so good on this mod because it's so naturally bulky, so you can actually sit there and take a hit or two and just slowly, like, um, get your D-dances and whatnot off. This isn't necessarily the win con. It's just here to hit hard, and if we can get, like, a massive hit off on a certain mods... Like, I more than happy would, uh, I would be more than happy with the performance this time around. Next up, we have Titania, Demega Diancy, Diancy, Add Magic Bounce, Moon Blast, Earth Power, Mystical Fire, and Substitute. 8 in HP, 2 for 2 in Special Second, 176 in Speed with Timonage. This is how speed is the. By the way, Kyurem will speak. I uh, spec Crep, um, Tabufini rather than Electivire and the Kangaskhan because I don't think Electivire is coming. And if Kangaskhan comes, I don't think it's gonna come with speed. So that's the main reason why we spec Crep the Tabufini. Now, in regard. Uh, actually, I think Tabufini hits two. Oof, I think we need to do it like that in order to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, Mega Diancy is has spec crept the Charizard because we cannot outspeed the Tornado should it come and be max speed. And uh, we're running the three attack substitute. If we can get a substitute off, that's really, really nice. Like, that's really, really good for us because if we get the substitute, then we won't necessarily die to Bullet Punch. This uh, that means they have to go into something else in order to kill Diancy because we do have Mystical Fire, which would kill most scissors. Um, unless they have called a Archerberry or something like that. Now, I'm not running a rock move, which you can argue is kind of risky against the Charizard because having a rock move guarantees that we're gonna always hit it super effectively no matter what, whether it's Mega or not Mega. Now, if it's not Mega and he can tell that I don't have a rock move, it's gonna be a 50 50 gamble on whether he stays regular Charizard or he goes Mega Charizard. Earth Power will do a lot of damage to a Mega Charizard. But the reason we're also running Earth Power is when we hit like Rhyperia super effectively, we can hit the Electivire. Now, I might actually, now that I'm looking at this, change to probably Power Gem. Just because Power Gem is better against Sissa. Is of course, as I just mentioned, better against the Charizard. And Moonblast should still do a good chunk to Rhyperia. Plus, I don't think Rhyperia is that likely to come. It could. But we had like Chestnut is really good against it, Dawn is pretty good against it, Suricune is really good against it. So I actually don't think Rapier necessarily comes, but if it does, it is what it is. Next up, we have Hongo Bongo, Doctor Strange, the Huba Bauman, Choice Specs, Magician, Psychic, Dark Pulse, Energy Ball, and Trick. 8 in HP, 2v2, two two, and Special Second, 248 in Speed with Timber Nature. We just have speeding down the cross, man. This, I think Psychic is very free in this game because I don't see him swapping the Greninja on this that much. If he, do, if he does, he, he's just dead. Like, if, if it does and I click something else that's not Psychic, it pretty much just dies. I'm pretty sure Dark Choice Specs Dark Pulse <laughs> he would almost Oko the Greninja. Like, it would be close. But if we have Energy Ball because it allows us to hit the Fini, it allows us to hit the Rapiria. And as I mentioned, Psychic is very, very free against the rest of his team. Dark Pulse is good neutral against the um, Sisa. Unfortunately, Hooper doesn't get any special fire moves, he only gets fire punch. And I looked at the physical versus special variants of Huber, but special is a little bit better in this game, in my opinion. Now, if it's a core mine, a cosmic power, um, and a crossma, I am gonna be a little bit annoyed I didn't win physical with the. Uh, I think it's called Hyperspace Fury, I think the physical one is. Uh, just because it's, it, it would be better to break a cosmic power in the crossma, or if it's core mine, you know, it would be physical, which is just straight up better. But we. Overall, th overall, I think this is going to be very, very good. It, it doesn't revenge a lot of things because uh, it's pretty much slow and his team is overall decently faster. But he can do a lot of damage. <laughs> Next up, we have Stormbreaker, the Sapdos, Heavy Duty Goose Pressure. Oop, you're not supposed to be pressured. You're supposed to be static. <laughs> you turn Hurricane, Thunderbolt, and Roost. 248 HP, 156 in defense, 104 in speed with Terminator. We are outspeeding the... Um, we are out... Okay, so with this one, we are outspeeding a Tabufini that speed creeps our Hooba. I don't think he's gonna, like, acknowledge Suicune and Quillfish in regards to speed tiers. I don't think he's gonna do that, but he might re he might look at Huber and be like, okay, I'm gonna outspeed that thing if it's, like, an offensive type of Fini. It could be a defensive type of Fini, and then it doesn't matter. But this is just, like, a speed creeping of a type of Fini that speed creeps the Huber. I could, I could speed creep a type of Fini directly, but I feel like having a little bit of extra bulk is pretty good. This is physically defensive to take on, like, if you bring Selectivire. Uh, for Sissa, of course, physical Necrozma. Even though it doesn't do that much to Necrozma, but it is what it is. Now, Charizard is a little bit of an issue, because I literally just don't have a good answer for Charizard on the team, except for if I brought Suicune, which... I bring Suicune. Um, but then, yeah, this is just really good. Um, Sisa, as I mentioned, is a big, big threat to our first three months. I wanted to have Zapdos on the team, even if it's not the greatest. 
I wanted to have it just because I want to have that bullet punch switch in every time. Next up, we have Satana, the Clef Keeper Leftovers, Prankster, Dazzling Gleam, Spikes, Reflect on Thunder Wave, 240 in HP, 20 in defense, and 240 in special defense with a common agent. This is a special defensive check to, I don't know, Finny, Greninja. Like, it's not actually a check, it's just special defenses if you have a Spadefmon, kind of. Um, it's not It's not here to do any damage, not here to stop anything. It's here to set up Spikes, get a Reflect up if I can, and get a Thunder Wave up. And the reason we're running Reflect over Light Screen is because, as I mentioned, Charizard is kind of an issue. So I would rather have the Reflect in an emergency case than I would have the uh, Thunder Wave. With Hoopa's natural Spadef, it can take like some Spadef hit from like a Greninja or from like a Tabo Fini. Now the issue is, if Greninja is a U-turn, that's gonna hurt <laughs> quite a lot. And lastly, you wouldn't guess it, the Wincon Coke Puffs the Cold First. Waterium C, Intimidate, yep. So, hear me out, hear me out, in a little split second. Poison Jab, Liquidation, Rain Dance, and Sword Dance. 12 HP, 252 in attack, and 244 in speed with Adamant Nature. Now, you're probably running, why are you running Intimidate with Waterium Z when you can run Swift Swim? Because it's a Swift Swim mod. Well, look at it like this. If I have Intimidate and I go in on a, like a scissor or anything, he's gonna assume I'm defensive, he's gonna assume I'm bulky, he's gonna play around that probably, and Waterium C plus Rain Dance already gives you the plus one speed, and if he, if he doesn't run a Choice Scarfer, which I don't think he will, honestly, if there's a Choice Scarfer mod, it's gonna be the Electivire, and that's gonna be an issue. <laughs> but if he doesn't run a Choice Scarfer mod, that automatically means this at plus one outspeeds the entirety of his team, and this Plus one uh, speed, plus two attack with the rain up. Pretty much Oko's in this, his entire team because Poison Jab is super effective against the Fini and Greninja is way too frail and Liquidation just goes in against the rest of his team. Uh, Poison Jab is also really, really good against Breloom, which the only priority move Breloom gets is a fighting move, which we resist. Same with Sissa. Priority move, Steel, which we resist. This thing is low-key just a massive threat against my opponent, and I don't know why. It's so funny to me that this was what I came up with with the win count, but it actually makes sense if you look at the team. And yeah, for anyone says, plus two, liquidation in the rain, Oko's in the Krosma. Unless it's like max physically defensive in the Krosma, but I doubt it would be that. But yeah, that's the team this week. As I mentioned, this could be a fun team where I'm just gonna go out and click buttons. As always, if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below if you thought of the team builder, and subscribe to the channel for future videos. I'm now head into the battle, so peace, YouTube. All right, what's good, YouTube, and welcome to a CDLA Week 8 battle. We are going up against Zago, coach of the Gainesville Gatawas, and this is a weird battle because we're playing on regular showdown, <laughs> which is hard. Uh, I don't know. I wanna. I'm just gonna leave Sapdos. He leads high. Should have let. With, mm. Okay. I should have let with. Uh, what's it called? Um. Hoover? Because I, I wanted to leave with Hoover. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of like all over the place, place right now. Basically, what happened is, is sports, the sh side we typically play on, doesn't work. So we're playing on regular showdown with like some weird uh, mods and, and what uh, some weird uh, commands and whatnot. And this thing is a big ass menace. My my team literally just d do not handle it. Like we do not handle it. So realistically, he's got either for either either. Actually, if he if he rock polish, does he just win? I think he might just win. <laughs> If he's like an offensive rock follows, he might just win here. Like, I didn't bring Suicune, I didn't bring Chestnut, so like, I don't have a whole lot for this thing. I didn't think it was gonna come. Uh, Stone Edge, if he's max attack as a roll, I kind of want to just Hurricane for the damage. Because I don't, I don't know what I was swap into is the issue. Fuck, I'm just gonna hit it. 28. Those rocks. Man, oh, uh, I guess I, sh I guess I should have predicted rocks and gone like Hooper to scare this thing out, right? Because I, I think Hooper, I think Hooper would have scared it like a lot. Because like, yeah, no, even Psychic would have just mollywhopped this thing. Um. Okay, so since it's rocks, I don't think I don't. My guess is it's not gonna be offensive then, right? That's my guess. I could stay in here and just like I take a stone edge on sap, right? We take a stone edge, 
Should you be Rock Blast? It would be annoying, but we still take it. Unless, like, if he gets all five hits, it's a roll to kill. I kind of want to just... Like, I still... I, I want to get the damage. This thing is a massive threat to my team. Like, I don't... It is Soul Stance. Okay, I kind of figured it would be. Okay, so this is not that bad unless he... Hmm. It's bad if he Rock Polishes on this turn. Hit them all. Get the confusion, please. I just ice punch. Okay. That's fine. It's kind of incredible that he... So he, I, so he soul stands, still rock, ice punch. That means he probably doesn't have a rock move. What you mean? Fair to him? So I kind of want to... I want to preserve... Um, I'm not going to lie. I want to preserve Zapdos or like a lot. Because uh, I can I can heal on like a Sizzle, I can heal on a Finny, I can even heal potential on a Crossma. And we have boots, so we don't take the rocks. Plus two. He could expect me to potentially roost, but I don't think that's worth it. I think I might just go Churum on the Ice Punch. Unfortunately, I'm weakness policy, not heavy duty boots. We're taking a lot. Followed by the um and if EQ if he EQ. We, I think with rock stuff, we just straight up die. There's a chance we die. But at the, I, again, with the ice punch, that would 89 Zapdos. Because he has a little bit of uh, attack investment. I don't, not a lot, but a little bit. Like, like probably, he probably has enough speed for something, probably enough bulk for something, and then the rest just attack. Something, something along those lines is what I'm imagining. I'm just gonna hit again, yeah, you know, Zapdos is just greatest. Damn. Yeah, okay, Zapdos wore the goddamn glasses today, like, holy! <laughs> Who thought that? Who would have thought that Sabdos just absolutely wore his glasses today? Jesus. Yeah, okay, so here comes the Greninja. I figured this was gonna be the Greninja. It's Ashgren. I don't know what kind of Ashgren it is. Um, that's like the main issue. Do I have a giving, giving him an Ashgren already? I kinda do. Problem is, if he specs, Klefki is not enough. Oh. Even if he's life off, Clifty, Clifty is not an option. <sighs> like, I literally need him to be... Okay. Something else. Actually, I should have probably... Um, ran a little... Like, a, a heavy duty boot. I'm just now... Re I'm realizing that I probably should have ran heavy duty boots on uh, Kyurem. Because I think, actually think Kyurem is like... Would have been semi... Never mind, Kyurem is just not a good answer. It's not... Oh, wait, I went, I went to... Quillfish by accident. Yeah, no, I think Cure might be actually be the play. Because even with Rock Stop, I don't think we died to Dark Pulse. I can kind of see if he specs or not. I think that's the main objective right now. He would have to spec Dark Pulse in order to two shot Kyurem, but if he does, if he's that, I can go Satana. But, ugh, damage on. Uh, damage on. Um, Kion is not great. If he's not a boosting item, Klefki with the Rock Stop does take it. I'm gonna go Klefki to scout first. And see. Hydro does 58. That's specs, right? Um. Uh, let me see. He could probably get away with running Modest against me. It's not a life orb, so like mystic water. Kinda wanna say he's because he's either modest mystic water, which is interesting. Because because if he's just pure modest, he couldn't do that much damage. Or he's timid specs and got like a very low roll, I think. I think I can go cure him here. If he gets a crit here, that's really bad. Just miss. 
Okay, Scizor. Do we take like a hit from Scizor here? If it's offensive. Offensive. Bullet punch. Uh, it's a roll. Gonna D. It goes straight. If he's offensive here, he has a semi decent chance. If he's ba banded, he just straight up die, I think. But I, I'm still gonna take the chance. Oh! Okay, so he has Water Shuriken on this thing. That's bad. I mean, he would be locked into Water Shuriken at that point. Right. He's gonna have to click Water Shuriken. Askren is really, really fucking annoying to deal with. Kiram is not coming in again, so I mean, I'm, I have to... Yeah. I have to, because, like, there's no... Point in trying to preserve preserve here. So I can go Koopa and Clay. I think Dark is pretty free. I think Dark Pulse is like pretty free, man. Uh, I think I want to try and get. See, the thing is, I don't think Will Patient. Cause like Necrozma is too much of a, like it just comes in on me, right? And if I'm plus two, I have zero spikes or anything up. I mean, I guess I can go Cliff and try and get spikes up. Oh wait, it, it, out it prior out prioritizes me now. Wait, I'm pretty sure I can get out for it. Yeah, uh, I think I have to go Hooper. Like Hooper takes the hit, right? Um, I want to click Psychic. Expect them to swap, of course. But, like, he doesn't kill me here, right? He has zero chance of killing me. Actually, if he gets all five hits... Ugh, if he gets all five hits, that's... Right. Fini... I have, to, I have to click Psychic on, like, a Fini. Yeah, this this Greninja is a big, big issue. I should probably brought Suicune, being honest. I just thought it's good for... This is good for Chester, good for Greninja. I don't know, I just want to have fun, you know. I mean, I can Energy Ball, expecting the, um... I can still two shots on a cross map. Okay, no, it, it is Oko's. Yeet! I mean, he goes Greninja now, right? Hmm... Can you tell I'm specs from that? I don't know if he can actually. Actually, he can. He was all, he was offensive. Um, ooh, he was offensive, Finny. Like mad offensive, like zero bulk, Finny. What? Yeah, no, he was literally just zero bulk, Finny. Um, he is probably gonna D dance. Is my guess. Yeah, he does have D dance. Oh, that's bad. See, flat blade just static, static, static. Oh, wait, the Misty Train is up. No, man. Oh, fuck, Misty Train is up. I just realized. I just realized. Oh, God. Um, it's kind of bad. Jarazad Mega X plus one. Oh, plus one Earthquake, I think, takes out that. If I don't make a dance. Ah, the rock does it. The rock does it. The rock does so. Dines it dies. And like Quillfish doesn't do enough. Yeah, plus plus I'm like 99% sure he has Earthquake. I need a way to stall the... I need a way to stall out the break. So I can get Cliff Keen and find a way this thing. I think I'm gonna go with the scuba dive EQ with the rocks it's probably. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just do this. All we clicks blablets. Basically I'm stalling terrain at this point. That, that's what I'm doing. 
EQ, yeah. There we go, Klefki. Then T wave probably. I was like, I am trying to right? T wave. He can go because green on the play is reflect the, the overall just better. He has a mega X. This is twelve page. If reflect is up and he's back to neutral. And I see rain dance. Yeah, I don't think it does. I, I need to reflect so I can live and set up on this potentially. But I mean, I could also thunder wave it, right? If he kills me. If I thunder wave, if he kills me. <sighs> okay, we hit it. Yeah, he de danced. Uh, he's, he's just gonna de dance out of it, I think. He's plus two plus two. Does Hoover outspeed this thing if it's Oh my god, he he outspeeds me. He outspeeds me. Uh, I think Willfish with the reflect Ah oh, the rocks does it! The rocks fuck does it. Kidding me. I mean I have to hope for a para, I think. And then I have to... I don't know. A rock does it. That's annoying. Like, he did the correct play. Okay, wait, no, no, he's, he's uh, at plus one now. So, Quillfish. I lift the EQ. The C rain dance, so we can outspeed him on the following turn. Right? Yeah, we outspeed on the following turn. And I... Does, do we kill from where he's at? We don't kill ways from where he's at. Oh, that's so ass. <laughs> but we do with a C liquidation thing. No, we don't. We just straight up just don't kill from where he's at. Get powered, please. Get powered. Get powered. I mean, I could actually... Uh, I don't know if that would... <gasps> if that place. He flat blitz expecting Hooper, I guess. I mean that that that's valid. I like I, I completely understand why you would do it. Do it. Um, liquidation does fifty to. Ah, oh, it's such a small chance to kill. That's so ass. There's no way he. No way he flat blitz again. Fast. Power, 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 power. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, that's GG. There's, there's no way in this. Um, like, even... Like, I'm like, just thinking, what's my, like, one move I lock myself into? And, and let's say he gets parried here, right? And he doesn't have U-turn on Greninja. What's the one move I lo lock myself into? Like, it kind of has to be... Um, what's it called? Energy Ball, I actually think. Does Energy Ball even kill this thing for me? I, think, I feel like... 70, yeah, we do kill this thing. We kill, of course, Greninja, which actually Greninja kills us with the two specs. Uh, Hydro Bomb. Oh, plus the rain is up now, so that's you know funny. Funny, haha. Uh -huh. GG. Ah, uh, there's nothing. I got new discharge out with the way I build would be a massive issue. Um, what could I have done differently? I don't know. I mean, I. Honestly, if he doesn't have Water Shuriken on Greninja, we just, we, we win with the uh, with the Kyurem. Like we straight up just win with Kyurem. It is the thing. So it was it was a little bit like like plus. I mean, I don't know what I could have done. I, I don't know what I could have done differently. What I could have potentially done, what I think maybe had been the better choice, would have been to swap to Hoopa here in the here in the end game, right? Swap to Hoopa. Uh, Hooper dies to the incoming flatlets, right? Swap back to Quillfish, have him at what, neutral, I think he would be then. With the ref I think Reflect would be off for like one more turn. So, let's see, Charizard, Mega X. If he's neutral on Quillfish and the Reflect is up, I mean, uh, I would still need a power turn because I would need to be able to set up the rain. 
right? To see Rain Dance. And I would have to set up a sword thing. Essentially. He would have to power on one of the turns in order for me to win. And even then. Well, actually, no, even. Uh, yeah, no, even then, I would need him to not be bulky defensive Necrozma. Because if he's like a defensive Necrozma, uh, he lives. I'm pretty sure it lifts the. Yeah, no, it lifts the plus two liquidation in the rain. So, yeah, there wasn't much of an endgame here. I knew with the build I went into, the Charizard was going to be a massive issue. I'm kind of. It's kind of funny to me how he like sacked the Rapira like that. But I mean, he didn't have a rock move, I, I, I'm i gonna assume, so. I think that's fine. Um, I should have brought Suicune probably instead of. I don't know. Like, probably instead of Diancie, like, let, let's be honest here, because Diancie loses to both Greninja and Scissor, so I don't even. Like, I don't know. I'm just too. I think I'm too preoccupied to just wanting to bring Diancie. But I, I shouldn't here. I should definitely have had, like, either Chestnut. Well. Chestnut, Chestnut wouldn't have helped with the Charizard, but I should have had brought Suicune. Suicune 100% because it helps with the Greninja a lot. So I, should, I should have brought Suicune. It's my, it's my fault. It is what it is. As always, if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like on the video. Leave a comment below with thought of the bell. I know it was very short and sweet. I actually had very fun with this just because it's a Bunga Bunga hard hitting team and that's just fun, you know. And uh, subscribe to the channel for future videos. With that, I'm out. Peace, YouTube.